Christmas mornings are so busy. Why not prep your breakfast ahead of time? Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and today I am sharing with you two fairly simple overnight casseroles. One of them is sweet and the other is savory. So let's get right into these. For easy overnight breakfast number one, we are making a hash brown casserole. So there are so many different things that you can put in this. This is what I'm making this time. Sometimes I do add vegetables like peppers, things like that, but my kids just aren't huge fans and I want them to be able to enjoy this as much as I do. So I will add peppers in after the fact. Um, it's super easy. Just cook them in your skillet and add them when you're eating your casserole. So this is what we're prepping today. All you're going to need is a bag of shredded hash browns. You could use up to 30 ounces. This is a 26 ounce package. One yellow onion, a pound of whatever pork sausage you wanna use. I picked up this Country Mild by Jimmy Dean. You're going to need 12 eggs, Two cups of whatever kind of shredded cheese you want. I'm using this mild cheddar cheese and then half a cup of heavy whipping cream. So let's get started. Go ahead and brown, cook all the way through your sausage. While your sausage is cooking, chop your onion. All right, onion is chopped. Pork is all cooked up and now I'm going to just add my onion in here and we are going to cook it just a little bit longer until the onions get you know like halfway tender not all the way because they're going to bake later on but for now we're just going to and yes i'm just adding a little bit of time with this knife <laughs> we're just going to add them in here and get them nice and cooked up <sighs> i love the smell of sausage and onions cooking so while my onions are getting a little tender in here I am going to go ahead and get all 12 of my eggs, I've already started, into a large bowl. And I'm just going to use a whisk and get these all mixed up. Adding my half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little salt and pepper right now. Then you're just going to whisk that all up until well combined. All right, my sausage and onions are all nice and cooked through. So I am adding those to my egg mixture. I am going to mix these up together. And then we're gonna add about a third of our two cup bag of shredded cheese. Mix that up. and add in your bag of hash browns. Then stir all of this together until everything is nice and combined. Okay, now we are re ready to assemble our casserole. So I have a 13 by nine dish here. I did go ahead and give it a spray with some Pam. And now we're just gonna get all of our mixture into this pan and spread it all out. Once you've got your hash brown, sausage, egg, onion <laughs> mixture all in your pan, you're gonna take the rest of your cheese and just sprinkle it all on top. So what's great about this dish is now that you've got it all set up, you can cover it. Whether you use foil, saran wrap, or a lid, set it in the refrigerator, leave overnight, and it is ready to bake in the morning. I am gonna show you guys how to bake this, or you could also prep this way in advance for Christmas morning or whatever morning you want this. Do not put the shredded cheese on it. Cover it, place it in your freezer, and then when you're ready to bake it, pull it out the night before, put it in your refrigerator, put the cheese on in the morning, and then bake it. So let's go ahead and bake up this yummy goodness. So you are definitely going to want to bake this uncovered. So if you had it wrapped up, take all your wrappings off. I've got my oven set to 350 degrees. So you can see that with the glare and me through it. And then this does have to bake for a while. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time. I'm baking it for 45 minutes. 45 minutes and it cooked up perfectly. I wanted to get a piece out so you guys could see. 
delicious and perfect for Christmas morning. You could serve it up with some danishes. I actually shared this recipe a little while ago, so I will have that up in the iCards if you guys want to check that out. For this second overnight casserole, we are going to make an eggnog casserole. I'm really excited about this. This is a like a French toast casserole with an eggnog twist to it. So you definitely have to like eggnog. Um, really, really good. I love eggnog. Although if you don't like drinking eggnog, you might still like this dish because it's not as strong. It's mixed with a lot of other flavors, definitely has a French toast feel. So I would definitely give it a try. So for this one, you're going to need a half a cup or one stick of butter. I'm going to get out one cup of brown sugar and just in case you guys didn't know, whenever you're using brown sugar in a recipe, you wanna pack it in because it's so fluffy that in order to get enough for your recipe, I always you know, pack it firmly to make my one cup. Then I'm going to be using two tablespoons of maple syrup. This is the kind that we have. You could just use regular pancake syrup, whatever you have. I am opting for the maple. One loaf of French bread. I am going to cut this up into small little bite-sized cubes. We're gonna be using some cinnamon and nutmeg to taste. I'll show you guys that when we get to it. Eight eggs, so I've got eight in here. Two cups of already prepared eggnog. So this is the kind that I've been buying, just my local grocery store, H-E-B, their eggnog. And then one teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm going to grab my baking pan and we're gonna get started. So for this recipe, you're going to be using a nine by 13 pan. Um, you do want to spray it or grease it. I have been using this that I picked up at Walmart, Baker's Joy, works really well. I've used it on a lot of baked items. So I've already got my pan greased. Now we're going to start messing around with some of the ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and get my French loaf cut up into cubes. Once you've got your bread all cut up, you're going to get your butter in a small saucepan and you're going to melt that probably over medium heat. You don't want it to melt too quickly, but you don't want it to take forever either. So let's melt the butter. Once your butter is melted, you wanna add in your cup of brown sugar and your maple syrup and we are going to just mix this all together and continue stirring until it starts to come to a small boil. Okay, my mixture has come to a low boil. So I am going to turn off the heat and we are just going to pour this directly into our greased pan. Then you're just gonna take your cubed bread and get that all in here on top of the butter and sugar mixture. Once you've got all your bread in there, press it down so it's really sticking to that butter and brown sugar. And this is where you're putting your seasonings on to taste. So you're just going to sprinkle the cinnamon on top, I love cinnamon, so I'm definitely doing more cinnamon. And then the nutmeg. So I'm not gonna do as much nutmeg, go a little bit lighter, but just lightly over the entire top. And now we're going to mix up the remaining ingredients. All right, I've got my eight eggs in a bowl and I am just going to whisk those up. Once you've got your eggs all whisked up, add your two cups of eggnog. Don't worry, the whisk did not fall all the way in. <laughs> and the vanilla. And I'm just gonna use my whisk and just get that all mixed together. Now we're going to pour our mixture on top of the bread. I'm also going to go around and press down. I wanna make sure all the pieces, there's a few pieces here on the side. I wanna make sure they're all covered in this custard topping. 
Everything is set to go. So remember this is an overnight, so I'm going to cover it in foil and it needs to be in the refrigerator for a good eight hours. So go to bed, wake up in the morning and your breakfast will be ready. So I'm gonna get this in the fridge and then we will bake it in the morning. Next morning, preheat your oven to 325 degrees and you are going to bake this with the cover on for 40 minutes. Once your time is up, you are going to increase the temperature to 375, then uncover and bake for another 10 minutes. Can you guys hear it bubbling? After 10 minutes, it is ready to go. But one more step, let me show you how I'm going to top this. When you are ready to serve, I am just having some fresh fruit out with it. So I've got some raspberries and blueberries. So just eat away. Both of them were delicious. <laughs> of course I made them ahead of time. Um, we do actually have our own tradition. Uh, actually my mom had a tradition when we were all still living in her house. My brother, myself, my mom, and my dad. She would make something every single Christmas morning. However, just the season right now has been very hectic for us the last several years. So I have not made those. I am going to share that recipe in an upcoming video. but. I have just been drawn to these easy overnight food things. So whether it's freezer meals that you prep ahead of time or you're doing something in your crock pot the morning of where you just dump and go, easy peasy. That is just my season of life right now. So I knew I wanted to share two really scrumptious overnight casseroles that you guys can prep Christmas Eve. You could probably even get away with prepping them a day ahead of time. So the eve of Christmas Eve, <laughs> December 23rd, that night, put it in your refrigerator and leave it there all day, pull it out Christmas morning and bake it and you are set to go. Don't have to worry about it. You can put it in the oven while your kids and yourself, your family, your friends, whoever you spend Christmas morning with are all opening their gifts and then breakfast is ready. So I definitely wanted to share these with you guys. If you love easy meals, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.